Right, we are live from the quarantine, and uh, we are here on this this uh, Saturday morning. I was just about to say gloomy, but you know what? I love this. I love this weather. Um, I, uh, I I I feel like I I really bought into Oregon when I moved here, and uh, I just I just love the rain and uh, the overcast. This so um, I'm gonna I'm gonna revel in this today, but. Um, Guys, is, uh, oh, as far as uh, the workout is concerned, we're going to need um, some form of weighted object. Uh, so you can either use a book or you can use a pair of dumbbells, uh, a kettlebell, um, whatever you have that um, has a little bit of weight to it. Um, also, if you want to pull out your uh, resistance bands, you can also do it with your resistance band. Um, and then we'll need the mat for the warm up. Uh, we're going to be doing it Tabatas today, so uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with those. Um, let's see, as far as the theme for the month is concerned, we have been talking about um, everyday heroes um, that show up and do these amazing heroic acts. And I think that we need to remember that um, everyday heroes aren't just people who uh, save babies off of train tracks and they're not just the people that, um, you know, see a kidnapping happen underway and then assist the police in, um, in a avoiding that catastrophe. Um, it's also us on a, on a daily basis. Um, and what I mean by that is um, everyday heroes are people who decide to connect with other people, um, as seen with the kidnappers, uh, you know these these young kids um, uh, decided to witness an act that was happening and then decided to uh, move on it. And um, uh, I, the, the same thing, like um, when uh, when all this started, um, I remember Kyla telling me the story about when she was going to Joanne Fabric to buy a bunch of fabric for making masks for healthcare workers. And she was standing in line and she was witnessing um, a lot of people getting um, upset with the clerks because there was not enough materials, not enough elastic um, to make these masks. And they were taking out their, their um, anxiety on these, on these poor clerks. And Kyla went up and she was just like, you know, I really appreciate the fact that you guys are here and you're, you're providing um, uh, this as a, as a retail opportunity for us to make these masks, you know, for, for people who actually need them. And, uh, you know, I'm sorry if my fellow human beings uh, aren't, you know, don't realize that. And I, she witnessed what happened and she talked to the clerk, you know, as a human being. And that just that moment of connection may have made that person be okay with their day and go, you know, maybe this is worth it that I'm putting my health at risk you know, being here in this store right now all day long. And it's just those, those, just those little brief little moments that I think that, that make people an everyday hero when you, when you actually decide to connect, you know, and maybe, maybe it's the, um, you know, your, your mail person, you know, and, and just thanking them for what they're doing. Or, or maybe you have a friend who's in healthcare and they've been working all these crazy shifts and you don't want to bother them, but maybe just send them a text saying, thank you. Thank you for, for what you're doing right now, you know. And, um, and you just never know what kind of impact that you're going to have when you decide to connect. And, uh, and that's, what, that's what makes you an everyday hero, all right? Well, we're going to get into our warm-up. And I hope you have water. And All right, guys. So what we're going to start with is our half-kneeling shoulder circles. So I'm going to have that back foot pushed into the ground. I'm going to bring my pelvis slightly forward. So I'm going to have this little bit of ankle flexion on this front foot. Really squeeze those glutes, guys. Now I'm going to keep this rib cage down as I reach forward. My palm is facing that back wall. And now my shoulder is going to start to rotate. My hand is going to face you. And now as I rotate that arm around, my palm is going to face that back wall. As I rotate that shoulder even more, my palm is now facing up at the ceiling. And I'm reaching out of that arm, but I'm keeping my rib cage down. Resetting, palm up, facing that back wall with that hand. As my hand and shoulder rotates, I love it when Josh says, like a rotisserie chicken. What? I, okay. <laughs> that is, it just cracks me up every single time. So we're taking it slow, getting that shoulder to really warm up nice. We're gonna switch it out to our other leg. Again, pushing that back foot into the ground. 
I'm pushing my pelvis forward and I'm reaching towards you, keeping that rib cage down. I'm really, really reaching. And now I'm rotating that hand and my shoulder as one solid unit. Oh yeah, that shoulder's a little bit more rough. Facing the back wall, facing the ceiling with that hand, coming back down. Taking it slow, guys. I want you to really breathe into this. I want you to reach with that hand, but keep that rib cage down. Bringing it forward. Whoo! Yeah. All right. Now, guys, let's go into our quadruped position, and we're going to do our shoulder circles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my shoulders up to my ears. I'm going to pull them forward. I'm going to pull up out of my shoulders, and then I'm going to bring them down back to my back pocket. So I'm doing these nice big shoulder circles in this direction. Let's go five, forward, and then I'm going to go five, backward. four, and five. All right, guys, let's go ahead and stand up. I wanna do my um, I, Y, W's, and T's. So for my I, my feet are about shoulder width apart. I'm gonna hinge over, and then I'm gonna raise my arms up next to my, bi my, my biceps, next to my ears, and then back down. So I'm really pulling my butt to that back wall, bringing those arms up. I'm gonna pause at the top and back down. So let's do five of these. So this is three, this is four, and five. Yeah, getting that nice pause at the top. Then we're gonna go into our Y's. So I'm just a slightly out more at a 45 degree angle with my hands. So I'm touching my hands at the bottom, coming out and back in. Again, getting those biceps next to those ears and pausing at the top. Three, four, and five. All right, now we're gonna go into our W's. So again, coming into that hinge position, my elbows and hands are touching, and now I'm gonna come out to the side. So my hands are in line with my shoulders, elbows up, opening and closing this book the book of W, four, and five. All right, now I'm gonna go into my T's, so directly out from my, uh, from my shoulders. So hinge position, coming out, holding it, and back down. Coming out, holding it, and back down. So my arm should be coming straight out from my shoulders, it's not coming back, it's not coming forward, all right? Just working on all these different ranges of motion in our shoulders, getting them all nice and warmed up. Then we're also getting this hinge position nice and warmed up as we're holding this isometrically. Yeah, and five, nice. Now guys, we're gonna go into our downward and upward dog. So for this, I wanna come into this A-frame position and I am going to Turn this way. I'm gonna have my uh, biceps next to my ears. My butt is up in the air. I'm pushing back on those shoulders and I'm gonna pedal out my feet. Pedaling. Gonna do about five pedals on each foot. All right, and then we're gonna go into our upward dog. So I'm gonna come down, I'm gonna dive bomb. I'm gonna come up, now I'm gonna hold this. I'm gonna to try to suspend my hips off the ground. My glutes are on, getting this really nice stretch in my chest and in my lower back, breathing through. And then I'm gonna dive bomb, leading with my, hip, my hips up to the ceiling, coming into my downward dog. Really try to push back on those shoulders, guys. <sighs> Pedaling those feet and then dive bombing it into that upward dog. 
Holding it, holding it, holding it. Ha, ah, breathing in. Get those deep breaths. Keep those deep belly breaths, guys. Don't have it be superficial up in your chest. Have it come all the way down to your belly. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. Nice. All right. Now, guys, we're going to go into our bretzel. Everybody's favorite. Okay, so I'm going to lay on my side. I'm going to grab my bottom foot with my top arm. So opposite arm to opposite leg. And then I'm going to grab my top leg with my bottom arm. Now I'm going to try to get this, this bottom leg straight out from under me. Whew. And I'm going to try to bring my opposite shoulder to the ground. I am not even close, but I'm really pulling hard on that bottom leg and trying to get that shoulder as close to the ground as possible. Breathing in, breathing out. Yes. All right, let's get one more breath in there and then we're gonna go bretzel it on the other side. Nice. Checking my mic, <laughs> making sure all is well. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna face you this way this time so you can see how my ow, leg is coming off my body as my mic digs into my hip bone. All right, so see how my knee is coming straight down, really grabbing that with that back foot, grabbing this top leg, and then I'm gonna try to reach that shoulder to the ground the opposite shoulder, the one that's elevated, and breathe into it, guys. Breathe into it. <laughs> one more big breath in and out. All right. Now, guys, we're going to go into our warm up go through each of the exercises in our Tabata to get used to them. And then we'll just, uh, well, then we'll go through our Tabata itself, which is going to be 20 seconds of worth, 10 seconds of rest with just uh, two exercises that we're pairing. So let's go ahead and practice the high pull first. Again, you can do this with a book, a kettlebell, a dumbbell, two dumbbells, which whatever works best for you. I'm going to demo this with just one dumbbell. So what I'm doing for my high pull is I'm coming over into this hinge position. And then from that hinge position, I'm gonna lock out my legs and I'm gonna come up into an upright row. Coming back over, boom. So I'm really squeezing those glutes at the top, leading with those elbows. So I'm not going into a squat, guys. I'm going into a hinge position with this. So let's go ahead and do 10 as far as our warm up is concerned. Five, six, don't come out of those shoulders. Don't lose those lats. Keep those lats really engaged. Seven, eight, nine, 10. So it's the motivation of your hips coming forward that really help power that weight up. Now guys, we're gonna go into our single leg push up. Now you can either do this from an elevated surface or you can do it from the ground and we're just gonna lift one leg. We're gonna do five with our leg, our right leg lifted, and then uh, five with our left leg lifted. See, Cassandra, I promised you we were gonna do this. Here we go. So, keep everything really super engaged, making sure that you come down to the surface with your chest. I'm gonna elevate the one leg. It's not gonna go up super high. Come down and up, down and up. So go ahead and give me five, with that right leg elevated. Five, and then give me five more with that left leg elevated. And four, and five, woo, yeah. Now, if you're still working on your technique as far as your push-ups are concerned, please feel free to just do the normal push-up. But if you wanna challenge yourself, try this one-legged version. Super, super interesting. Now guys, we're gonna go into our bent row. So if you have a pair of dumbbells, great. 
if you do not, um, that is fine. Also, I'm going to demo it with each of the things that we have to work with. So I'm going to come over into that hinge position. Again, guys, I want to make sure that I'm staying in those lats. Don't lose those lats, all right? And I'm going to pull my shoulder blades together. Now, I'm bringing that weight back to my hip. The weight isn't forward. It's back here, all right? Now, if I have a kettlebell, I can do the same thing with the kettlebell, just pulling that weight up to my chest, fully extending those arms at the bottom. If I have neither of those, but I have some sort of weighted object, like this heavy book full of knowledge, same exact thing, all right? You don't need to have weights to be able to do this stuff. All right, and then, um, hopefully that you just did uh, 10 of those as far as your warm-up is concerned. Then we're going to go into 10 prisoner squats. So I'm going to widen out my feet, toes are pointed out, putting my hands behind my head, coming down and up. Really squeeze those glutes at the top, guys, making sure to get that depth. And when I'm talking about with depth, give me 10 of these. I'm talking about with depth is getting this right where my, right where my hinge position hits this, at this hip I want it to line up with my knee or get even lower than that. All right, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Trying to keep upright with my chest. I'm not bending over into it because then I'm doing a hinge. What I'm doing is a squat, so I want to come down with my butt. All right, and then actually, I'm going to go ahead, get rid of my mat. Now we're going to do our lateral lunge, our lateral lunge. So again, if you want to do this weighted, that's great. I'm going to go ahead and hold my, my dumbbell up here. I'm going to step out to the side. I'm really pulling that butt to that back wall and stepping in, stepping out to the side and in. Go ahead and give me five on each side. So pulling that butt back and up. And I'm not curving my shoulders. I'm keeping my back really flat as I do this. It's three, four, and five. So that's just one way to hold a dumbbell. And again, you don't need to hold, you don't need to use a dumbbell with this. You can just do body weight. The other way you can do it is you can have a couple dumbbells and just have them out in front of you. Your choice. All right, now we have our overhead press. I'm going to show it with the kettlebell and I'll show it with the dumbbells, but give me 10 of these. And for my overhead press, my feet are about hip width apart. My elbows are in at the bottom and they come out at the top and at the bottom, out at the top. All right. If I have dumbbells, my palms are gonna face you. See how my elbows are in, in at my sides? Now they're coming out. In and out. All right. You're giving me 10 of those. If you have a book, same thing, guys. Elbows in. Really squeeze those glutes. Make sure that that pillar of that body is really activated. Pillar from my feet all the way up, gauging my abs, engaging my glutes. Then guys, we're gonna go into our four point hip mobility. So for my four point hip mobility, I'm gonna come down into my quadruped position. I'm gonna elevate my knees off the ground about an inch. I'm gonna to touch my back foot as I swing my knee out and I'm gonna take this slow and controlled. So guys, what I'm not doing is I'm not bringing my butt up in the air as I'm doing this. I wanna keep my butt as low as possible Keeping those knees close to the ground, touching that foot, touching that foot. Trying to keep those hips stable. All right, give me five on each side. All right, now we're gonna go into our side plank. For my side plank, what I'm gonna do is, I'm either gonna stack my feet one on top of each other, or I'm gonna put one in front of each other, just depending on how easy one of these is for you. And then I'm lining up my feet with my knees, with my hips, with my shoulders, with my head. 
I'm going to come up onto that elbow. Let's go ahead and hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Guys, I'm keeping this shoulder right over this elbow, and I'm keeping my hips up to the ceiling. All right, let's go ahead and do it to the other side. All right, I have my feet stacked. My body is in alignment. Coming up, holding it. You can put your arm here, you can put your arm here. You can have a weight in this hand. And we're holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. All right. Now, we're gonna go into our regular plank. So, just gonna go right into, I'm um, down on my forearms. Again, shoulders over elbows. I am going to bring my feet together for this one since I'm not moving with it and I want everything tight, everything super solid. Let's hold this for five, four, three, two, and one. Again, guys, don't push up. Don't have that butt up in the air. Have your butt about the same height as your shoulders. All right, then, I'm gonna go into my X crunch. X crunch, my arms are out, my legs are out straight. I'm coming up, I'm touching my toes if possible, coming back down. Go ahead and give me 10 of those. Three. Four. Ah, five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. So, those are all the different exercises we're going to be doing during our Tabata. But for the first part of the Tabata, we're just going to be doing our high pulls. So, that was coming into that hinge position, bringing that weight up and back down. And then we're gonna do our single leg push-up or just a push-up depending on what you're doing, all right? So we're gonna do 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, back and forth for four minutes. I'm gonna grab some water before we start and we're starting in three, two, one, let's go. So hinged over. Coming up, squeezing those glutes at the top. That's what's really helping you lift that weight up. All right, got about three seconds left. And switching it out, coming over to my push-up station. All right, and we're going. So guys, even though I can do a strict push-up from the ground, we're gonna have so much volume with this that I'm doing it from an elevated surface just to make sure that my form is good for each one. So let's just do this, this right leg or whichever leg you've chosen for this round and then remember that, that that's the leg that you had elevated and then we'll do the other leg for the next round. So getting ready to do my high pulls and going. Keep those feet solid on the ground. Don't rock back on those heels, all right? Think about putting pressure on the outside of your foot into that big toe. Switching it out to my push-ups. First time I did right leg, this time I'm gonna do my left leg. And we're going. Whew. These Tabatas, guys, they are no joke. Make sure you keep your form solid. If you need to take more of a break, that's okay. If you need to skip around, that is okay. All right? We're not going super fast with this. We're making sure that we're solid with our form. Ha-ha. Got about five seconds left. All 
right, switching it back out to that other leg, my first leg. And going for it. Chest all the way down, whether it's the floor, whether it's your countertop, whether it's your staircase, whatever you got, guys. Marie's been doing her push-ups from her piano. It's been working out really well. Uh, woo, yeah, feeling that. Ha ha. All right. This is going to be our last set of each exercise. So, last set, best set. Guys, can you believe it? Yesterday, when I was doing the circuit, I did the last set, best set once. How is that even possible? Oh my gosh. So I'm gonna last set, best set, this one up. All right. Going into our last set of push-ups. Woo-hoo. Ha-ha. Getting those elbows in close to your body as you come down. Don't let those elbows flare out past the 45 degree angle because you're going to put too much stress on your shoulders then. Two, one. Nice. All right, guys, we're going to rest for about 90 seconds and then we're going to go into it. So I'm going to grab some water. Woo. All right. So now we have our bent row. Again, you can do this with dumbbells, a kettlebell, a book, a cat. And I'm pulling that butt to that back wall. Now you can play with the bending your knee to feel that hamstring activate, that muscle in the back of your thigh, all right? We wanna feel that hamstring turn on, okay? And I'm bent over and I'm staying in my lats. I'm not losing my lats, I'm not pulling out of my arms. And then I'm bringing the dumbbells or whatever it is up towards my hips, okay? And then we're doing our prisoner squats. Okay, feet are out, bringing that, my hands behind my head, coming down to depth. Getting that depth, guys. What I'm trying not to do is I'm trying not to bend over with this. I'm trying to stay upright with it, okay? So we have about 15 seconds more of rest. Then we're gonna get into it. I think the Tabatas are definitely one of my favorite circuits. I love this work to rest ratio that is programmed in at such, such a, um, these, these smaller increments of 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. All right. And we're gonna start here in three, two, one, with our bent row. So get that set up really good. Make sure you're in that perfect hinge position, feeling those hamstrings activate. Three, two, one, ha ha. Going into my prisoner squat. Yes, hands behind the head. And we're going now. Guys, really lock out those legs at the top. Really squeeze those glutes. As you squeeze those glutes at the top, it sets you up for the next time that you're coming down into your squat. All right, getting a lot more power out of it. As you squeeze, as you're raising up. All right, going back into my bent rows. Hinged over. Taking my time with this, guys. Really squeezing those shoulder blades together at the back. Ah. Oh. Feel like maybe my weights are a little on the heavy side today. <laughs> Feeling it. All right, getting ready for my prisoner squats. Here we go. Got this, Sarah. Great job, Chris. 
These are my buddies working out with me this morning. Warrior buddies, two, one, yes. Going back into those bent rows. Shoulders are feeling warm right now. Feeling those hamstrings, feeling those shoulder blades contract at the top. Three, two, one, yes. Ha ha. Prisoner squats. Here we go. Three, two, one. All right, guys. This is our last set of each of these exercises. So, last set, best set. I can hear you, Chris, even with your mic off, even with your mic muted. I know you're saying it, buddy. Ah. Ah. Yeah. You can be tired, just can't act tired. That was it for the bent row. This is gonna be it for the prisoner squats. Ha 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 ha. Here we go. Squeezy, squeezy those glutes guys at the top. Four, three, two, yeah, y'all. All right, about 90 seconds more of rest. Grab water to start. All right, so again, as you rest, I will go through this next part of our circuit, which is going to be lateral lunges and overhead press. So if you wanna use a weight, you can hold it up here, you could hold it down, you could have two weights, whichever you prefer, or you can do body weight. I'm stepping out, bringing that butt to that back wall and in, stepping out. So guys, when you're doing this, put all that weight into this lead leg. Let that leg draw you up, all right? We're not pushing off with the straight leg. We're, putting, we're having all of that strength come from this, this, uh, this pillar leg, all right? So stepping out, this is the leg that brings you in, okay? Then we have our overhead press, grabbing my dumbbells. Again, I can do this with a kettlebell, with a book, with one dumbbell, coming up overhead, elbows come in, making sure to get those arms straight as they're up overhead. I think I'm gonna go down and wait on this. Or when you're starting off, if you start with a weight, maybe halfway through, you're really feeling it, just ditch the weight and that's fine, okay? So guys, we're gonna get after it. And we're starting with our lateral lunges in three, two, one, go. Really concentrate on getting that butt pulled back to that wall behind you. All right. Keeping that back flat. Two, one, yeah, yo. All right. Going into my overhead press. Here we go. Get that pillar totally locked in. I want those legs strong. I want those glutes on. I want your abs activated. All right, guys. Four seconds left. You got this. Ha ha. Grab one of my weights for my lateral lunges. 
And we're going for it now. Making sure to concentrate on putting all that weight into that leg that steps out. It's a game changer when you're not using that back leg as an assist. All right. Going back into my overhead press. Here we go, guys. So with these Tabatas, you will notice that we're doing a collection of different exercises. They involve push, push movements, pull movements, squats, hinge positions, and lunges. And that's how we devise this circuit, is hitting all of those different types of movement. What? I know. There's a reason by, behind why we pick what we do. Stepping it out and in. Stepping it out and in. Going into our overhead press. All right. Here we go. Don't forget guys, squeeze those glutes. It's really easy to forget doing that when you're concentrating on this overhead movement, but it's just as important. Ah, yeah. Ha 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 ha. All right. Going back into my lateral lunge. Here we go. Ha-ha. Stepping it out. This is our last set of each of these exercises. Last set. Best set. Yeah, yeah. Going into my overhead press. Ha-ha. And go. Bringing those arms, guys, right next to my ears. Squeezing my glutes. Ha-ha, you got this, you got this. All right. We are resting, we are getting water. So while you are resting, I will demo the next two exercises in our circuit, which is our four point hip mobility. So again, I'm in this quadruped position. I'm gonna elevate my knees slightly. I'm not pushed back with my butt in the air. My shoulders are right over my, my uh, wrists, touching that back foot, I'm trying to be as stable as possible. Now take it slow, guys. Take it slow when you're doing it, all right? So that's my four point hip mobility. And then I'm gonna go into my side plank. So I'm gonna lay on my side bringing those hips up into the air as high as I possibly can. And then we're gonna hold this for 20 seconds. Remember which side you start with, because then the next time we go into that, that circuit, we're gonna switch it out for that next 20 seconds, all right? So we got about 15 seconds left. Grab a little bit more water. All right, guys, we're gonna be getting into it. All right, so with my four point hip mobility, starting on the ground, starting in three, two, one, and we're going. Knee slightly elevated, swinging that knee out as you bring that heel forward and your hand back to meet it. Ugh. Yeah, I find these particularly challenging. All right, now I got my side plank. Get your body all lined up, all nice and straight. All right, and we're up. All right, so guys, getting that shoulder right over that elbow, bringing those hips 
up as high to the ceiling as you possibly can. Got about seven seconds left. You got this, you got this. Yeah. And down. Woo! It's always so funny when I write this stuff out. I'm like, oh yeah, this isn't gonna be too bad. Then I get into it, I'm like, oh man, this is hard. All right, four point hip mobility. Keeping it strong, keeping it slow, trying to be as stable as you possibly can. Again, guys, if you're getting gassed and your form is wavering, take a break, skip around. It's totally fine. All right, now I'm going to my other side. Stacking those feet. And we're up. Here we go. For some reason, feet are slippery. Ha 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 ha. All right, six seconds left. You got this. Don't forget, keep those hips up. They're going to want to dip. Don't let them dip. Keep them up to the ceiling. All right, going into my four point hip mobility. Yet again, ha ha, here we go. Swinging that foot out, boom, yeah. Here we go. You got this guys, you got this. All right, switching it out to my other side for my plank. All right, here we are. And we're up. We're up. The nice thing about the Zoom workout is if you can see yourself in your camera, you can check your form. Like right now, I'm able to check that my shoulder is over my elbow, which is really nice to see that. All right, guys, going back into it. Here we go. This is our last set of each, which is gonna be our best set of each. Yeah. Keep those knees low. Keep that butt down. You got this. Ha ha. Yeah. I don't know about you, but I'm happy that was my last set of four-point hip mobility. <laughs> that is a game of intense concentration. All right, hips up, hips up. You got it, you got it, you got it. Okay, guys, about five seconds left. Don't let those hips dip. Yeah. All right. Get that water, make sure you hydrate. Okay, so for this next one, we're gonna do our plank and our X crunch. X force, X crunch. All right, so I'm in my plank. Again, shoulders over elbows. Butt is at the same level as my shoulders, all right? I'm gonna keep my feet together. I'm gonna squeeze everything, 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 okay? Just being like one super solid unit. I like to think of myself as a straight cedar tree log type situation. I am unbreakable in that form. And then I'm gonna go into my X crunch. All right, so arms and legs out straight, coming up, touching those toes, and back down. Up, touching those toes. All right. So. These are the last two exercises in our Tabata. You are welcome. It's gonna be super, super fun. I'm just gonna grab a little bit more water and then we're gonna get into it. I like it when we throw the abs in at the end. I like that, the ab closure as it were. All right, guys, let's get down to the ground. We're gonna get set up for our planks. And we're starting in three, two, one, hit it. All right, Oop, feet together, yep. 
Squeezy, squeezies. Everything's on. Everything's on. Don't lift that butt up. Stay solid. Five seconds left. <sighs> All right. Now, X crunch. I got this. Two, one, and up. Guys, sometimes all you got to do is walk over to the computer and open up that YouTube channel where we have the playlist of our body weight exercises. That's what this is. And all you got to do is turn it on. And maybe that's all the motivation that you need to actually start to do the exercises. It's just taking that first step, walking over that computer, and checking out that workout. Maybe you just do the mobility first. Maybe that's all you got. Maybe then the next day you do the mobility and maybe the first part of the circuit. But sometimes all you gotta do is take those first couple steps and then you're in. Doing my X crutch. Thank you for spending your Saturday with me. Maybe you're doing this workout Sunday morning. So thank you for spending whatever day with me. I really appreciate it. Get a small portion of your day. Go back into my plank. Feet are together. Squeezy squeezies. Don't let those hips drop, guys. If you let those hips drop, you've lost your abs. That's why we always want to keep our butt slightly elevated. We're at the same level as our shoulders. Got about five seconds left. Hoo -hoo -hoo. X crunch. Yeah, y'all. Here we go. Nice. This is the only time where we sit or lay down in training for warriors when we have those very, very short transitions from one exercise to the other. Otherwise, we always want to rest standing up. All right, guys, this is our last set. Best set, yeah. And we're up, sorry, I prematurely started that one. And we're going, we're going, we're going. Hold, 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 hold. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. You got this. About seven seconds left. Woo! Three, two, one. Yeah! Ha 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 ha. You did it. Oh my god. Did I forget? X crunch. I totally forgot the X crunch. How is that possible? I got so excited. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Not only did I forget the X crunch, I also forgot the homework. But I didn't because now I remembered. <laughs> oh boy, guys. Some days, some days. We're going to go into our squats or homeworks. Got 20s, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, 
my dearest, dearest everyday heroes that are showing up not only for themselves by doing stuff like this. It's so good to show up for yourselves because guess what? Always got to put on your oxygen mask first before you can help somebody else, all right? So same thing, if you've got kids, if you have friends or family, you've got to take care of yourself, and then you're better able to take care of other people, right? So don't forget about the story of the day. We're talking about connection, just having those moments with other human beings where we might, if you don't have a mask on, I guess smile at them as you're walking very wide berth <laughs> around them in the street or thanking the clerk at the grocery store for, you know, being there and helping you survive by supplying food, yeah? So anyway, guys, we're here to help you bring forth the warrior within. We love you, we miss you, hugs. I thought you were going to say use the uh, hiking poles for social distance. That's such a good idea. <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> Chris, you're a genius.